All right, here we go. Question number 19 in our college algebra homework number six in my lab math. It says to graph both functions using the same axis. That means one coordinate system. Here in red, we have an exponential function, 5 to the x. In blue, we have a logarithmic function. And notice that it does indicate that the log function is the inverse of the exponential. And that tells us a couple of things. I mean, if it's an inverse function, then that means it's going to have symmetry with the line y equals x. Uh, it also means that once I generate ordered pairs for f of x, it's going to be super easy to get ordered pairs for f inverse. Let me show you what I mean over here, okay? So in red, I've got my exponential function. And to graph that, we're going to pick three x's. And I'm not going to get too crazy. I'm just going to go negative 1, 0, and 1. And we're going to plug those numbers in for x and calculate the y values, OK? So for x is negative 1, we need to calculate 5 to the negative 1. Now, the easiest way to do that is with our handy-dandy calculator, OK? So if we clear that and do 5 to the negative 1. It's going to give us a fraction. I'm going to have an easier time plotting a decimal. So clicking the SD button, I get 0.2. OK, so over here in this screen, we know that if x is negative 1, y is 0.2. Next, we want to do 5 to the 0. And we know that any non-zero number raised to the zero power is 1, or at least I hope you know that. Anything to the zero power is 1. And then we need to calculate 5 to the 1 power, because we're doing x is 1. How about this? Anything to the first power is itself. So 5 to the 1 should be 5. Now, let me tell you what I was talking about, about getting the ordered pairs for the inverse function, OK? If you know that you have an inverse function, to get the ordered pairs, all you have to do is take each one of these ordered pairs from our original function and flip them. So that means that our first ordered pair for the log function will be 0 0.2, negative 1. The second ordered pair would be 1, 0 and then 5 and 1. And that goes back to uh, a previous problem we did where we found the inverse of a relation. And it says, well, you just switch x and y. So if I want to find the inverse ordered pairs, I simply switch x and y. OK, so now let's go back and let's plot the red points and connect the dots. 1, 1. All right, so negative 1 is at point 2, which is not very high. 0 is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1 is at 5. And so we've got a graph curving up. And if you remember what we talked about as far as exponentials go, I said that the constant that's added or subtracted to the exponential is where the asymptote is. So out here, there is no constant. So we could say plus 0. There's no constant. And so what that means, it means that the x-axis is going to be an asymptote. And so our graph is going to approach the x-axis but never touch. OK, now let's plot the blue ordered pairs. So if x is 0.2, y is negative 1, that's going to be about right there, over 0.2 down 1. 1 is at 0. And then if I go all the way over to 5, I'm going to be up at 1. And so again, this graph is curving up this way. The y-axis here is going to be an asymptote. And can you see that if I draw the line y equals x through here, that we have symmetry. The red graph right here, if you fold it across the dotted line, it gives us the blue graph. And now, for bonus, we're going to do that in Desmos, and I'm going to prove it, okay? So f of x 
equals 5 to the x. And I'm even going to make that red like it's supposed to be, just for you, okay? Red. And f inverse, which I'm going to call it g of x. Uh, for some reason, Desmos doesn't like the inverse notation. So we're going to say g of x equals, now this function is log base 5 of x. So we're going to say log log. To do a base, we're going to pull up the keyboard. And I'm looking for subscript. I don't see subscript. So let's go to functions. And, oh, here's a log subscript. Okay, so let's actually go back and delete this and choose log subscript 5 of x. And I'm not happy with that being green. I want it to be perfect. So let's make that blue. And you can see now that this graph here looks exactly like what I drew up here. And just to finish it off to make it perfect, y equals x. And can I make that black, please? Bam. Done. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Now, which one is that over here? Got to be B. Bam. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Or you can text me. And thanks for watching.